Right now, there are more than 330,000 unsolved murders in the U.S. Now, according to the FBI's Uniform Crime Report data, a forensic lab in the Woodlands is using new DNA technology to solve cold cases, some that are decades old. Othram is the first lab in the world purposefully built to identify perpetrator or victims from crime scenes. Our Zach Lajway went inside the lab and spoke with the founders. And I mean, this is just incredible it to is. be able to go inside and see the work that they're doing to help families find answers. And it's amazing to know it's happening here in Houston. You know, as much as I do, you know, we'll be sent to a story where there's some sort of tragedy, whether that be a murder or, or whatnot. And your hope in those moments is that those families impacted by this crime can get answers. And sadly, that's not the case. It's heartbreaking for so many of them to go years, sometimes decades without those answers. By definition, a cold case is a case that is at least three years old and all the leads and evidence have been uh, looked into or processed. They remain unsolved. This lab in the Woodlands is solving cold cases. You might remember Carla Walker. She was the teen that was killed in uh, North Texas. This was years ago, I believe back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And they just solved this case almost 50 years later. They're also wow. working on some very high profile cases that they're not allowed to talk about, that there's a gag order in place. Uh, but the founder of this lab says this technology will get us to a time when there are no more cold cases, even when DNA evidence is degraded or trace amounts. And I do believe that most cases that have DNA that are sitting in a cold case can be resolved using this technology, whether they're current or, or from 46 years ago. I also think that we're gonna live in a world in the next 10 years or so where there won't be any more cold cases, where people won't have to wait decades to find out what happened to their loved one because this technology will be implemented in real time and where the backlogs start to actually get cleared. And instead of seeing those numbers get bigger and bigger every year, they're actually going to start decreasing. And that was Kristen Middleman. Wow. Othram only works with law enforcement agencies who own these cold cases. Uh, families can reach out to the lab for a consultation on their website. We put that information inside this story, and that'll be up on our website later today. But this technology is receiving a lot of support, both from lawmakers the Fed, and the federal go government. This is coming um, in the form of funding as well. Uh, and so, I, you know, HPD, they, I, I chatted with them. I chatted with this sergeant over their court cold case division and I was asking him how many cold case files HPD has. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that coming up at eight. The number of cases they have that date back to the 1930s. We're also going to introduce you to a family who has been searching for answers for the past 40 years. Their mother was killed along with two other women here in Houston uh, back in 1983 and that case will turn 40 years old. They've had no answers and they are desperate to get that closure yeah. and so they their hope is to get their case in the hands of Othram to see what they can do because at this point they, they haven't had those answers right. and, 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 and you know it's either let the evidence continue sitting in the cold case files or try what's left. Try right, exactly and I think we had talked about this a while ago about yeah. how you get one chance one right chance. one this chance. destroys that evidence so if you have minimal evidence regardless of what that is hey it's a string when you bring that to a facility like this and when that technology is tests that 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 piece of evidence, it destroys it. It consumes it. And so a lot of times, as Kristen mentioned, I'm not sure if she mentioned in this story or, or in our last story, or maybe it's a story coming up. We have stories airing throughout the day. She talks about that trust and how important that trust is because they often know they are holding in their hands the final the final chance at getting answers. Ugh. All right. Yeah. Such great work that they're doing. Of course, we'll have more coming up on KPRC yeah, 2 Plus now at 8 o'clock. Zach, thank you so much.